Hello folks and welcome to my presentation. Um, this is my new Voxel engine. It's an infinitive Voxel engine, so there's no border. You can basically traverse in every direction as far as you want and upside and downside. So there's no real border as long as I don't incorporate one in the game engine. As you know from every other Voxel engine, you can actually destroy blocks, have floating trees. Oh no, that's a bug. Let's put the block back. Here we go, you've never seen that. And yeah, you can dig away stuff. The basic idea is actually to have little thingies running around and, and digging away those blocks, like in an RTS game like Knomoria or other those uh, games or things you may have seen in the past. So this Voxel engine is basically um, very basic. It is, it's not, it's far from ready. So you all see that we have a light simulation running on. So every block is actually aware of how much sunlight is there, which may be interesting if you, if you have some farming going on or something like that. We also do some water simulation. And for that, I'm just uh, building a base in here. Put some water in. Let's make another one. There we go. Downboard. Now, if you remove the block, back, it slows down. Here we go. Yeah, that's water. Maybe make it some, wait for the water to run down and make it a little bit more interesting. Close it again, put the water back in. Okay, here we go. We'll now spawn some thingies. They don't have a name because they don't have a face. Three of them. Pathfinding is actually ready in the complete engine. And I've already tested it with a thousand of those thingies. And the engine was pretty capable of doing that, uh, this. There they come. Come here. We made a cave for you. I sent him in the cave. Then I went, no, I sent that one away. Let's build the prison for the one guy. Yep, just enclose him completely. He's not trapped. Give him a door. And a window. Maybe a second window. As you can see, we, this is a completely layered engine, so it's a very fast process to walk down or up inside the terrain. Another thing in this engine is actually the trees. Those are no assets. Those are created in real time uh, based on this editor, in-game editor actually. So you can just have a tree and then you have parameters where you can set different aspects of the tree like the high, the leaf width, leaf, uh, leaf lane and color, the stem width so you can all, all sort of things modify with such a tree so the idea is to have a wide variety of trees and the player is able to make his own trees so I think this is a pretty good approach um, which I want to um, move even further in this engine, so everything you see in the game shall be uh, able to be user-generated content. Ideally we have in-game editors. Even the color is possible. And in the game there's also applied a little bit of variation to each tree. So they don't look exactly the same, but they look very equally. And they have an age, so some are smaller, some are bigger, and they will grow and they will breed. So a big tree will sometime become more trees in the future. Yeah, that's it for the moment. Hopefully you enjoyed what you saw. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment and have a nice day.